Hello, hello. Hi, is this the photographer? Yes, it is. Okay, uh, I've got a I've got a, a gig possibly for you if you're available. Uh, my name is Stephen. I'm new to the West Coast. I moved here from Louisiana about three months ago with my uh, girlfriend. I, I got a new job out here. I see in your pictures you have one where you're at a wedding and you're hiding. You're pretty stealth-like behind a couch. I was wondering if you have the type of skills where I could get you to go to. She's going to a party two Saturdays from now. I have to work that Saturday. She says it's with her work people. Uh, I just I don't trust her. So I was wondering if I could uh-huh. hire you to sneak around. You know, you look real sneaky behind that couch. If you could just kind of sneak around at that party uh, and take pictures, you know, when she's interacting with people. Okay. Uh, where would this take place? Uh, uh, um, in the Sherman Oaks area, I believe. Like I said, I've only been here three months. Sherman Oaks. Uh, well, I mean, uh, it would definitely uh, make a difference uh, if it, in Sherman Oaks, uh, you know, that's there, it would be one price. Say if it was like in downtown, it's a different right. price. And for for, for how um, what's the date and from from how long to how how many hours or so do you the need date to on for? that would be. I think that's the fourth, man. I think that's the fourth. And uh, from what she tells me, see, I don't get off of work till seven o'clock that that evening. And from what she tells me, it's it's like a swimming type thing, and oh, it's mostly just the women from work. I, I don't believe that. Uh, some things have led me to believe that something else is going on, and you know, she may or may not even be there. But she's given me, she's already given me an address and everything, so it sounds like that's somewhere she's going to be. Um, now, how you're going to get in the house, I don't know, you know, because they don't know you and you don't know them. I'm going to need you to figure that out as well. And if you tell me a price that's reasonable, um, you know, I, I'd like to work this out. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is uh, like a private house party. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You know how exactly you would get in there, or maybe if you have some type of special photo lens where you don't even need to be inside. Do they make them to where you can see through walls? I, I, don't, I don't know how it works. That's why I'm looking for somebody. Well, no, not yet. They don't, they don't make any lenses okay. that can see through walls. Okay. Um, but well, yeah, I mean, I'm thinking uh, maybe with you know the in and out. It sounds like it's a bunch of people from her work. And if you've ever worked in a, in a corporate environment, not everybody knows each other. You know, mm-hmm. so you could probably just walk in. Hey, I'm Bill. Uh, what's up, guys? Let me help myself to an hors d'oeuvre. And in the meantime, you know, you've got that that telephoto lens, you know, trained in on the wife. <laughs> Um, is this, I mean, it, that, what you're saying is doable, Good. but uh, also, also they they can say, uh, "Hey, we 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 don't know you. Get the hell out of the house." So it's one well, of those where I can I can lose uh, part of the day. You know that if I book something like this, right? Then I can try to go there, and then I'm not able to get in, and then I just lose out on that I time about frame that and. Too. So that's why if we, we give you like an alias, you know, Bill, I'll print up uh, on my computer. I can print up um, using Paint Shop an invitation like ticket that you'll just bring in. So if they question you, say, whoa, my well, invitation's right here. I got it from Sally on the third floor. Right? Uh, I mean, yeah, all of that is, uh, is doable. There's always, uh, always a chance. I mean, so if... Um uh, so for how how long is she planning on being there? From what she tells me, she's going to get there a little bit t- between eleven and noon, and she's supposed to be staying there. She thinks everybody's going to be clearing out, you know, basically at, when the sun goes down. Mm-hmm. You know, and I don't trust that either. You know, I, I'm uh, fully expecting she's going to call me with some bullshit. Uh, you know, why she ha- she can't come home when she says she does. You know, now at that point, once I get home from work at around seven, you know, I, I, I can, you know, pack up what I need to pack up and go find her. You know, at that point, you, you could leave because I wouldn't want you to take pictures, you know, evidence wise at that point. <laughs> so you're talking close to seven hours. Sure. <laughs> Let's say from okay. noon till seven. From noon to seven. 
And like I said, you're going to have to get in there. I think I can help you with the planning. Uh, maybe we can meet up, have some lunch on me. Um, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll print up some of these invitations. You tell me if that looks like, you know, if anybody questions you, boom, pull out an invitation. It's got Bill right on there. Uh, if nobody recognizes you, hey, I just started. You know, Sam in accounting told mm -hmm. me to come. Well, where's Sam? Mm -hmm. Who's Sam? I don't know. It's weird that we don't know any of these people, but I don't know you just like you don't know me. See, there's ways around it. I mean, you can manipulate people psychologically, you know, just to, like, no, like that's, the way my wife that's, does that's, to me. That's, <laughs> it's all doable, of course. But uh, so for, for what you're talking about, for that type of uh, time frame, I would say that would be around uh, $600. I mean, that's, uh, that's like a wedding time, you know. It's, it's, sure. it's like a, that sounds reasonable. Yeah. I had a wedding photographer, yeah. you know, when we got married before. I knew what I got myself into. Mm -hmm. So th this is good. I'm actually glad. You're, you're about the third person that I've come across. And like I said, I'm new out here, so I don't know anybody. Um, you know, and, and you're the only one who seems like you'd be willing to do it. You know, I think worst case scenario... Uh, you probably get in there for a little while, snap a few pictures, grab yourself a brewski, some snacks, and, and you know, if somebody calls you out and you feel uncomfortable, you know, you head on out of there and you just, maybe you just park across the street or something and see if you have any activity. Yeah. Because one thing I'm thinking is she shows up, she leaves with somebody, and then she comes home at the time she says, you, you know, I, I, don't, I don't trust this woman. I just don't trust her. You know? Mm -hmm. So you, you can still get the, the full, you know, seven-ish hours in, regardless. You know, I understand. As long as you make the attempt, as long as you make the effort, you know. Um, understood, understood. That's what we're thinking. Uh, so I'm going to hold on to this number because it it's getting a little late. Um, mm -hmm. If you're available in the afternoon tomorrow, I'm going to try to give you a call. And, uh, you know, maybe we can try to tighten this up a little better. And see what we can do because uh, you know this is going to go a long way if there's a divorce that's going to happen. You know, evidence of, of what I believe is going on could go a long way. You know, but uh, you know, like I said, keep this in mind. If if you're still you know around the event and I show up, don't take any pictures because that's that's probably going to be negative uh, evidence against me. You know. Yeah. So, anywho. Yeah. Well, that sounds good. I don't yeah, think yeah. I caught your name. I call you Bill the whole conversation. Yeah, my, my name's Alex. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. In the afternoon, keep your phone by. I'll give you a call. If I don't catch you, uh, I'll leave a voicemail. Let's see what we can do. You know, you said around 600 bucks. That's more than reasonable. More than reasonable. So, yeah. um, you so, know, especially so with all the risk involved and everything. Okay. Because if it's the guy I think it is, he's kind of a hothead who serves some time. You know, so if he, he was to catch, you know, think you're up to something, you know, he might pull a pistol. You know, so 600 bucks, you know, the, the risk involved, I think that's fair. It's, it seems pretty fair to me, too. Um, okay. Now, like like you were saying, uh, t tomorrow, tomorrow I'm actually uh, filming all day. So wow. okay. on Wednesday, so far, so far on Wednesday, I'm uh, I'm available on Wednesday. We can we can try to meet up sometime. Okay. Well, the, the best thing I could do is call Wednesday. So, you know, call. What, what do you think? 10 o'clock is a fair time? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Give me a call in the morning, and uh, we can meet up. Okay, sounds good. Well, it was good talking to you, man. I appreciate you being at least open to the idea. Okay. Yeah, no problem, man. I I know how it is, you know. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think I'm done with these women, man. I st I might start messing with dudes. You know, you married? <laughs> I'm married. Yeah. Well. Yeah, she might do to you what what this one's doing to me. So I have your contact info. Let's call. Let's ten o'clock Wednesday. I'll call you. And uh, let's just let's see if I I still want to do it, and if you still want to do it, and then we can iron it out from there. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds All good. Right, Alex, All right, man. Man. Thanks you, for buddy. calling. Right. Bye. Bye. Poor guy. Women. Am I right? Can't live with them. Can't live with them. I'm Ryan for Silly Reviews. You can show your support by hitting the like button on this video, by subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so, and by leaving a comment. Thank you for watching.